Sometimes I just have too much stuff that I need to get done. And with ADD, I've been learning about a lot of new terms. And a new term that I just found by Googling it is executive overload. This is something that anyone can really suffer from, as are many of the symptoms of ADD. But in particular, this overload symptom is one where you are having trouble with tasks that have a lot of steps. And, you know, the typical advice is to take a task that you have to do and break it down into smaller tasks. And when I do that, that is very helpful. However, you know, I'm like an old 386 with like one megabyte of RAM and a chunky hard drive that keeps failing. I got too many projects going on. The projects that I have that I'm working on right now include, but are not limited to, drywall and mudding in my daughter's new bedroom, setting the two Nissan Leafs, um, because we have replaced those with a Bolt EV and I need to get the registration figured out on that, uh, trying to complete a whole bunch of other projects before the end of March, monitoring and improving my blood pressure and weight because, you know, I don't want to die, and the doctor said I need to do that, um, trying to get ADD medication. And on top of all of that, uh, also just working in general, um, because I do have to get a paycheck, I have a lot going on. And, you know, sometimes it really feels like I'm at a standstill. Like nothing is really moving. But some th sometimes things can be moving even though they don't seem like they're moving. And so in reality, I've actually progressed in most of these areas. Uh, the drywalling has been progressing. I corrected some of the framing on the weekend, and that was only a few days ago. And I, uh, I filled in some of the gaps on the drywall. So that's taken me a few steps closer. Of course, it doesn't look anywhere near complete, right? But it is steps. It's some of the smaller steps that I know exist. I'm keeping in contact with the seller of the bolt and I should have the uh, release of lien document soon so I can go and get that registered. And that was really just a waiting game. It was going to be like five working days for the cashier check to clear, which is nuts, but what can you do? And I've been monitoring my blood pressure, which is high. <laughs> and, um, you know, I've also, I've given up monster energy drinks. I would drink one every morning. Granted, they were sugar free. And I switched from, uh, well, you know, previously I had switched from Diet Coke to Coke because I was curious if the aspartame was having any effect on me. But um, I switched from a large to a medium because I didn't want that much sugar. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to switch back to diet drinks again because I don't really, I'm not sure that the sugar is really doing much for me either. Ideally, I would get rid of all of it. But um, anyway, I've switched that portion of my diet. I'm trying to fast a little bit and I've managed to incorporate small amounts of exercise. Although to be frank, like <laughs> it's painful, you know, it's, it's painful getting back into exercising, although I'm getting there. Um, and my efforts with the blood pressure and diet and working out are all working toward ADD medication. And there's not an instantaneous visible outcome from that. It's slow. It's slow and painful. <laughs> and uh, and as for work, well, I don't know. I felt felt kind of crap this week, and I honestly haven't worked Monday or Tuesday. But tomorrow, I'm going to get back into it, and I think I'm semi on top of things. But um, I am I am a little stuck though. You know, in getting the two leaves listed, I haven't listed them because the interiors aren't clean, and I need to take them to get them detailed. And as for all of the other projects in March, like, I don't think that it's really feasible that all of those projects are going to get completed. And, um, but that isn't stopping me from working on it. It's just that the energy that I do have is going towards that bedroom. And so that might just, you know, drag out a little bit. So am I spending my time in places where I shouldn't spend my time? Well, I have been recording more videos for this channel. But I feel good about that. I, th I think that's one of my overall goals is to grow this and other channels. And I like doing that. And I've got to do something that I enjoy, right? I don't think that's taking up so much of my time 
that is interrupting other things. Um, generally because I, I usually record at night and a lot of the things I have to get done get done during the day. So that makes sense. And honestly, I just haven't been feeling as good. I think I have some caffeine withdrawal symptoms going on. Um, and I think I'm just starting to get over those. So I got to cut myself a little slack. Sometimes I think you have to sit back and you have to look to see where you've progressed and you have to be realistic with yourself. And uh, and if you really are slacking and there's just stuff that you've been putting off, I think you also have to be realistic with yourself there as well and say, I'm going to get this stuff done. And with that said, <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to take one of the leafs and take it to the detailer and hopefully they can get the interior detailed and that will allow us to actually list the car, sell it, and then I'll move on to the other one where I've got to fix the windshield wipers. And, um, you know, that'll make for another video, but I don't want to overthink that. But anyway, executive function overload is a real thing. And I probably have experienced it a lot in my life. And I, I think now one of my solutions is to just sit down and really contemplate the projects I have and, you know, look at which ones are just at a standstill and work out whether or not I'm really moving forward. And at this point in time, I am moving forward. I'm just feeling down about it because it doesn't look like I am. Maybe my expectations are a little too high for myself, but um, yeah, that's good. Anyway, that's all I had for this one. I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to post a video tonight and this is what I'm posting. So there you go. I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.